You may be accustomed to framing pictures or placing pictures at specific places on the page by using picture formatting or text boxes, but you can't do that with OnMerge images. Instead, you can very easily do the same thing by placing an OnMerge image into a one-by-one -one table, then formatting or positioning the table. Of course, that's only necessary for OnMerge images. It's business as usual for regular images. I'm going to very quickly demonstrate doing this using the ABC dealership sales letter sample which ships with OnMerge images. I'll position the OnMerge image in the top right corner of the letter, place a border around it, and even show you how you can overlay some text on top of it. To start, I'm going to insert a blank one by one table near where I want it. That's table, insert, table. one row, one column, auto fit to contents. OK. When you hover near the edges of the table, a four-headed arrow appears to the top left of it. You can grab that four-headed arrow to move the table around like this, or you can click it to select it. Once the table is selected, you can format it with Table, Table Properties. This works very much like regular text wrapping controls where you can adjust the alignment, text wrapping, and positioning of the image. Use the Borders and Shading button to get rid of the default border or to change its style and color if you like. Here I'm setting up a border that will be very easy to see on this video. You can insert a new OnMerge image into the table by placing the cursor inside of it and inserting an OnMerge image as usual, or you can drag an existing OnMerge image into the ta table like this. You'll notice there's a small amount of blank padding on either side of the picture frame. To get rid of it, select the table, Go back to Table, Table Properties, press the Options button, and set the left and right margins to zero. That's all there is to formatting and positioning OnMerge images, but some people have asked how to place text over OnMerge images in tables. Make sure nothing is selected. Click on Insert Text Box. Press the Escape key to skip the drawing canvas. Click and drag the mouse in a blank area to create a text box. To get rid of the box's opaque background and black border, hover the mouse over the border until you see that four-headed arrow again, then click to select the text box. You can now select Format, text box. Go to the Lines and Colors tab and change both the fill and the line to no fill and no line respectively. I'll position the box over the OnMerge image, insert some text, format it, and we're done. I'm John D. with OnMerge, and that's how easy it is to position and format OnMerge images.